Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to don and doff PPE as an NCLEX review. And as always, in the YouTube description below or at the end of this video, you can access the free review quiz. So let's get started. First, let's start out talking about the type of PPE you will need. Remember, you will select the specific type of PPE based on what you're gonna be doing for that patient or what type of transmission-based precaution the patient is in. So here are the following items you will need for PPE. You will need a gown. A gown will help protect your clothing from any type of splashes of body fluids like blood, urine, mucus. And you'll want to select the appropriate size gown based on what your employer provides you. And there's various different types of gown and this gown I have right here is a blue plastic one. Next, a face mask or respirator. So you will select either a face mask, which you will wear at all times if a patient is in droplet precautions or you're gonna be doing something where there's a risk of you getting splashed in your mucous membranes like your nose or mouth with some type of body fluid, so you'll want to wear that or a respirator, an N95 mask. And this mask is to be worn at all times when a patient is in airborne precautions. And this mask will help protect you from the droplet nuclei that um, those diseases produce. So you'll want to select whichever one you need based on what you're gonna be doing. Next, goggles or a face shield. Goggles or a face shield will protect your eyes from any potential splashes of blood or mucus. So you'll want to select accordingly whatever you have access to. This is a pair of standard goggles or um, sometimes employers have the face mask with a shield attached to that. So you want to pick that if there's a risk of getting things in your eyes. And finally, gloves. Gloves will help protect your hands from any types of fluids or contaminants that you don't want to get onto your hands. And whenever you select your gloves, you'll want to select the right size of gloves based on your hand size. Here are some key points to keep in mind when donning and doffing PPE. You'll want to put on the PPE before entering the patient's room. Once in the patient's room, keep your hands away from your face and don't touch your PPE and try to minimize touching unnecessary areas in the patient's room to decrease contamination. And when you remove your PPE, you will remove it at the patient's doorway or outside the room and perform hand hygiene immediately. And if a respirator is worn, you'll want to take the mask off outside the patient's room after closing the patient's door. And if at any time when you're removing your PPE and your hands become contaminated, you will want to perform hand hygiene before removing the other pieces of PPE. Now let's talk about the sequence of how you would don or put on PPE. Okay, the first thing what you wanna do is perform hand hygiene. Then you will put on the gown then the mask or the respirator, depending on which one you're gonna wear. Then you will put on the goggles or face shield. And then lastly, the gloves. Now let me show you how to do that. First, perform hand hygiene. Okay, first we're gonna put on the gown and we're going to um, put it over our head and we're gonna slide our arms through the sleeves. And this particular gown has hooks where you stick your thumb. So be sure to use those because that will keep your gown secure while you're providing patient care. Then we're going to make sure we tie all the ties in the back. Next, we're going to place on our face mask and you'll want to Put it over the bridge of your nose and make sure that you form it around your nose to fit and put the straps around your ears and pull the bottom of the mask down to cup around your chin so everything is covered, your mouth and your nose. When wearing a respirator, always follow the manufacturer's instructions. And whenever you're wearing any type of respirator, you always wanna get fitted by your employer, which will usually require it annually, and perform a seal check after putting it on to make sure it works properly. So you will take the mask, place it over your nose and mouth, cupping it in your hand. Then you will take the nose piece and form it around your nose. Take the top strap and pull it to the top 
of your head. Then take the bottom strap and pull it to the base of the neck. Next, perform the seal check. Place your hands over the mask and gently inhale and exhale, feeling for any air leakage. Next, you will place the goggles or face shield onto your eyes, making sure they fit snugly but not too tight. And finally, don your gloves, making sure that you pull the cuff of the glove up over your gown for extra protection. And this is how everything will look. Now let me show you how to doff or remove your PPE. The sequence in how you will be removing it will be gloves, then goggles or your face shield, then gown, and then the mask or respirator, and then wash your hands. Before removing your PPE, it is very important to know which areas are considered clean versus contaminated. So the areas that are considered contaminated are the outside of the gloves, the front of the gown and the sleeves, the front of your face shield or goggles, and the front of your mask or respirator. The clean areas are the inside of your gloves, the back of your gown, which includes the ties, the straps of your goggles and face mask. First, you will remove the gloves, and by doing that, you will take one hand and you will pinch the cuff of the other glove. Then you will just peel it away and grab that glove in that gloved hand, and then take your finger underneath the glove, because remember, the inside of the gloves are clean, and just peel it off, and then discard. Next, you will remove your goggles, and remember, you will remove them from the straps because that is a clean area. So you will take them, remove them off, and then discard. Now we're going to remove the gown, and remember, the back of the gown and the ties are clean. So we're going to untie the gown. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the gown, and we're going to do this from the inside out. So we're going to slide our arms up through the sleeves and pull the gown from the neck and the shoulders, and this specific gown will pop off. And we want to be careful not to touch the outside of the gown because it is contaminated, and we'll roll the gown into a bundle and then discard. Then we're going to remove our mask, and remember, the straps of the mask are clean, the outside of the mask, the front is contaminated, so we cannot touch that, so we'll take both of our fingers and remove the straps of the mask, and then discard. Now we're going to remove our respirator, and remember, you will do this outside the patient's room with the door closed, and what we want to do is we don't want to touch the outside of the mask. So we're going to slightly just lean forward, and we're going to remove the bottom strap first with both of our fingers. So grab the strap, pull it over your head. Do not touch the front of the mask. Then we're going to remove the top strap in the same fashion. And then we will discard. Then you will perform hand hygiene. Now this wraps up this demonstration on how to don and doff PPE. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.